गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन कैन यू हेयर मी एम आई ऑडिबल ऑडिबल सो टुडे वी आर प्रोसीडिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट in the fingers this point is very very good for liver wonderful point for liver one patient came with the problem of cirrhosis of liver we know cirrhosis of liver is a very challenging problem then he reached on the last stage of cirrhosis of liver then perforation in the liver a small small hole in the liver then from the liver some liquid was coming out and collected in the peritoneum all around and patient start developing big belly so this condition is called ascites or jalandhar jalodhar right are you aware jalodhar jalandhar ascites it's a very challenging part so when the patient is coming and telling you doctor my belly is increasing day by day then we are cross verifying whether this problem is ascites or simple some some different problem so sometime there is a perforation in the liver then there is a leakage of the fluid then it is creating the ascites sometime the problem in the lungs the lower part of the lungs is getting inflamed that is called pleurisy and some fluid is leaking out and collecting in the peritoneum and sometimes there is a leakage in the intestine and the fluid is leaking out from the intestine then there is a collection of fluid so if someone is developing the ascites then we need to check number 1 liver number 2 lungs number 3 intestine we need to find out whether there is a leakage in liver lung or intestine and when the liquid is leaking out there are too much protein is leaking out person is suffering with the protein deficiency right the belly is becoming bigger but arm becoming leaner even the legs are becoming leaner person is having severe deficiency of the protein and getting weakness day by day sometimes there is a swelling in the legs also right so one day i put the needle in the leg to one of the patient having swelling so i put the needle here and here as soon as i put the needle the liquid start leaking out as soon as i inserted the needle then after removing the needle the fluid start coming out fluid liquid the leakage of the fluid from the feet whether it's good sign because the person is having swelling whether we could put multiple needle and let the leak out all the fluid it's good idea to reduce the swelling no if you take out the lots of fluid there will be severe 
blockage there is a severe deficiency of the protein protein loss there will be great protein loss even the person might collapse with the protein deficiency if you needle somewhere and the fluid is coming out then avoid that area right so our because in the human body we are having more than 70% fluid if the fluid is collecting in the belly or in the leg so we don't have to take it out we have to circulate it in the body because fluid is a very important part of the body our responsibility how to circulate it in the body why it's getting collect collected in the belly right so in that way this is condition called inflammation of the liver if this condition is connected with the liver this is called inflammation of the liver so there is a very wonderful point it is called good inflammation or 11.20 i will show you just by a single point you can create a very wonderful results this is called bud inflammation point or bud blage point 11.20 one of the great point for hepatitis one of the great point for hepatomegaly hepatomegaly means when there is a enlargement of the liver or cirrhosis of the liver even the fatty liver grade 1 2 and 3 this point found in the ring finger right in the ring finger this point is available on the d line okay so kindly search the d line in your hand because if you search the d line everything will become easy kindly search the d line in your hand so the d line can you find out the d line in your hand yes show me okay it's the toward the small finger wonderful so we have to search the d line a line will start from here a on the thumb side then c in the center then d will be here so we have to go in the d line and in the middle phalanges we have to put two point at the equal distance at the border of bone so in the ring finger in the middle phalanges we will be searching the border of the bone this area is very good for liver sometime we are not having anything at least we are having key we are having key with the key also we can do the pressure here we can do the pressure on this whole line because there is a wonderful line this is called bud inflammation point or we can do the pressure by the pencil or by the acupressure probe i told to one of my patient and really he got a very wonderful results he was doing the acupressure two times a day on this line in the whole line he got a wonderful results even we can put the star magnet here or we can put the needle here so if we put the needle here look at here we will search the border of the bone and we are putting the needle here one needle and the another needle both needle will be on the border bone so this is called 11.20 excellent point bud blazing point or the bud fire point so we have to search the border of bone and we have to put the point got it only two point you need 11.20 bud inflammation 
this finger is one of the great finger like if we are putting the needle just opposite here just opposite this is also very good for bind but this is the expelling bind when bind is too aggressive there is a bind attack there is a paralytic attack facial paralysis there is a very severe attack of the bind so we are here but we will going to the opposite side that point is also expelling the bind out so whether you put point here or in the opposite side both point working on the bind 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 but right now i am talking about the 11.20 it is a very good point who is called good inflammation point with the help of this we are treating fatty liver cirrhosis of liver liver deficiency any problem happening in the human body because of the liver and i have very good experience of this point i was surprised one patient came from hyderabad to badodara many years back and uh, daughter was mbbs doctor she was doing md from the medical college so doctor came to me can you treat my father he is having cirrhosis of liver i refused i told no no i i, I told cirrhosis of the liver very complicated problem and i don't want to touch the patient but she told me you please treat uh, remaining thing i will i will take care i started treatment every day i put 11.20 and one more point which i am going to discuss after this 11.20 plus one more point what is that one more point wait for a while right so 11.20 plus one more point and on third day she told me abdominal circumference is reducing okay on the seventh day seventh day she told me uh, now this time because we are doing every week we are taking the fluid out but this time fluid is not increasing on the 20 days she told since 20 days we have not taken out a single time fluid because every time we have to tap with the needle and take out the fluid and after that after 20 treatment we discontinue the treatment and we i told that okay we'll repeat the treatment after the gap of 20 days and then he came back after the 20 days he was not having any problem just we repeated the entire treatment again just for like a formality or we can tell for the precaution purpose but he was not having any problem not having ascites liver become very wonderful right so in the 20 just why two points number 1 11.20 number 1 another point that is called upper three yellows which i will discuss right right after this so remember this thing upper three yellow are wood inflammation the meaning of inflammation when there is a problem when there is a problem if there is a no problem okay then we don't use this one suppose someone is having fever we are giving paracetamol tablet but if the person is not having fever then precautionary giving the paracetamol tablet is not a good idea we can't do this okay take the paracetamol because fever is all around we can't do that many person do this but it's not the good idea until and unless you have fever you should not take paracetamol tablet in the same way until and unless you don't have liver problem we should not stimulate this point then you will ask okay then what to do if suppose person is having fatty liver definitely you can do cirrhosis of liver you can do disharmony of the liver you can do but if the person is not having any problem then don't worry we have another point 11.17 i will discuss with you okay that is very good for liver so right now i but the question comes what will happen if i use 11.20 nothing will happen there is a no side effect this point is good but this point will be working when you are having inflammatory condition right okay so 11.20 in this way whether we have to use too many points so the answer is this even the 11.20 is enough if you compare as per the tcm in the tcm there is a one condition that is called bitter taste in the mouth throughout the day okay what is the meaning of this when patient is coming to you doctor i have bitter mouth then our question okay tell me 
do you have bitter mouth in the morning or throughout the day? The patient is telling, doctor, I have bitter mouth only in the morning, not throughout the day. So this is called disharmony in the heart, fire in the heart. If there is a fire in the heart, then bitter mouth will be only in the morning. Then just treat the heart, reduce the fire from the heart. But in the next condition, a patient is telling, doctor, I have bitter mouth throughout the day. Then this is the condition called liver fire. So liver fire means throughout the day and heart fire means only in the morning. One female patient told me, I have back pain plus bitter mouth throughout the day. Okay, back pain plus bitter mouth throughout the day. If the bitter mouth throughout the day, it means liver fire is high. Then we have cross verified because liver fire will create anger. I, I ask, do you get angry soon? She told, yes, there are lots of split is in my family from the brother side, from this side, from that side. So all the time, anger is going on in my mind. Dispute in the family. Okay. So I started the treatment only on the liver fire. Just while doing the treatment on the liver fire, back pain gone. Right? So the this is because everyone asks me this question, doctor, patient is telling me 10 complaints. How to decide whether we to treat the back pain or the liver fire or what? So I always tell, do the diagnosis. If you treat the diagnosis, if you treat by the diagnosis, you will be able to treat the patient. Suppose I, I will tell about my father. My father is 80 plus. Whenever he tells me I am having back pain, I just do kidney yin deficiency treatment. Only 6666 six, six, six formula, kidney 6, spleen 6, pericardium 6 and the heart 6, done, over. And sometimes CB4. Some, and next time he told, oh, I have knee pain. I do the same treatment, kidney yin deficiency. Oh, today I'm feeling my BP is going higher. I do the same treatment, kidney yin deficiency. Today I am having neck pain and feeling little vertigo, kidney indeficiency. Right? So, okay. Uh, since the two days I am feeling thirst in the night, kidney indeficiency. So, what we, if we find out the root cause person is getting the problem? Because kidney in is like a tree, there are 10 branches. Sometimes he'll feeling back pain, knee pain, ear problem, tinnitus, neck pain, and all. If we know the root, in the same way, one, one patient is coming to me, 80 years old patient. And son, 62 years. Both are coming to me. Both are drinking together every evening. Both are having license of alcohol in the Badodara, Gujarat. Gujarat is a dry state. Alcohol is not available on the road. But we can take the license and we can enjoy in the home. Both are having license of alcohol. Both are drinking together. Father is 80 years, but very lean and thin and having the sign of kidney yin deficiency, like dry throat, thirst in the night. And son is also having the same sign. Now, both are telling me different, different complaints. I am doing the treatment of kidney yin deficiency. Whatever they tell me, just I do the treatment of kidney yin deficiency. So this is the beauty. If we know the diagnosis, we will be able to treat 100 problems just by single protocol. So 11.20 point is the one of the great point. It is working on the liver fire. <laughs> what is written? Can you see this? My daughter is telling me that alcohol is banned in Gujarat. <laughs> okay, okay. See, written immediately. Alcohol is banned in the Gujarat. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's not about the alcohol. It's a very difficult. If you want to buy the spirit, it's not available in the medical store. Only you can buy for the hospitals, right? So, 
is the very good point for liver fire. Anger, worsting anger. Person want to throw out, want to break the television. Become very aggressive. Liver fire. Bitter test throughout the day. Liver fire. 11.20. 11.20 is one of the great points for liver fire and sometimes liver fire is too high, rising upward, eyes becoming red. There is a bleeding from the eyes. They are bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the cuff even. So liver fire means liver is the mother of heart. If the liver fire is high, even it might raise the blood pressure. Okay. So now, Let's move ahead and see what other point we can add for creating the wetter results. So now I will tell you a very wonderful point that is called upper three yellows. Even I will show you the video for this. This is called upper three yellows. There are three points. They are the great point for liver 88.12, 88.13 and 88.14. So the middle point is 12, upper point is 13 and the lower point is 14. All three units together are called Upper three yellows. Upper three yellows. Upper means because a leg can be divided in two parts. If we see the knee, one part below the knee, one part above the knee, so we are telling upper. And we are telling it yellow because yellow means connected with liver. So this is called upper three yellows. These points found in the liver meridian, right? So let's see here. If you look at this image, Right. Look at here. So these three points having three chun distance between each other. Three chun distance. Right. How much distance? Three chun distance. So how to find out the point? First, I will tell you. It's really very easy to locate. And let's see how to find out these points first. Okay. So first, we are standing up. Right. So where the middle finger touching the thigh, this is called gallbladder 31. Wonderful point. This is called gallbladder 31. And from the gallbladder 31, if I am directly coming inside, that is liver meridian and that is the 88.12. Right, eighty-eight point one two. So this is the point, or we can see this is the thigh. So this is the point near what in between the thigh. That is called eighty-eight point one two, right? Now from here I have to draw one point three chun up, one point three chun down. So there are three point unit one, two, and three. In the liver middle. So either I can put three point one in the middle one down, one up, or I can put three, four point here in the line. So this is the point just in the center, or you can see the width. Just this is the width. The middle is the liver meridian. The liver meridian is coming from here, then proceeding upward. <coughs> I will show you one video. Then we will be discussing more about this point.
So look at here now. Upper three yellows or 88.121314. So we can see the middle part of the thigh. In the middle part of the thigh, there are three points. One point just opposite to the goal word 31, that is 88.12. Then three chun up and three chun down. There are three point unit. This is called upper three yellows. We can also see in this image. Between these three points, there's a distance of three chun and three chun, right? So whenever we are putting the points, either we are needling all the three points, but sometimes we also can needle only two points. They are also enough, any two points we can choose. Sometimes we are using two, three points together because as per the master, tool, even you miss the point, but you should not miss the line. If you are not missing the line, you will able to achieve the result. So now look at here, we can put the needle. First, I'm putting the center needle here, that is 88.12. Then I am going up, three tune up, 88.13. Then I'm going three tune down, that is 88.14. So with the help of this point, we can bring the reaction in the liver. So the reaction area will be liver and the lots of problem having connection with the liver, we can stimulate with this point, right? Okay, so now there are many videos even, there are a few videos available in the YouTube. If you write upper three yellows, Himan Sharma, you will find the video. So now I will tell you again, this area is not painful because we are having too much muscle in this area. Now the question comes to whether we have to put the needle right side or the left side or violet one. Answer is this, we are putting the point on the left side, whether we are putting 11.20 or we are putting upper three yellows if we want to act on the liver, we will be achieving more results if we put the needle on the left side. Remember left side. All the points of the liver are more useful if we put them in the left side. So look at here. It's a very easy, even you can treat yourself. So you can see this is the inner part of the thigh, right? One point we can put here. See, needle has gone very easily. There is no any pain because there are very great muscle here. One needle we can put three chun down and one needle we can put three chun up. So three chun up and three chun down. Those who are not needling, they feel, oh, how to needle this point. But I'm telling you, buttock area and the thigh area is a very safe area and we never feel pain. Suppose we are not able to put the point accurately, then we can put the point, one more point randomly, right? So this is called upper three yellow. If the person is having any problem which is connected with the liver and gallbladder, gallstone, we can activate upper three yellow and will achieve the wonderful results. Let's see a few more indication, which is having very deeper connection with the upper three yellows. Let's see here. So if you look at here, one point will be in the center. One point will be three chun up and one point will be three chun down. So upper three yellow, 88.121314. Now, when we do Panchakarma treatment, in the Panchakarma treatment, when we provide massage to our patient, we are doing massage in this area 
if we want to treat the back pain. So the person is telling you, the person is suffering with the right side back pain. We do the massage on the left side, means other side. So I will show you here in this slide. So person is having pain in the spine or the low back pain. We are using 88.121314. These three points are definitely good for liver. But these points also treating the spine. If you want to treat the spine, just we have to add one more point that is called 88.03. I will discuss shortly about this. I am coming back to this. So how this point treating the spine? So it's a, the as per the master thing. If you are needling very little bit, it will be working very near on the kidney. If you are needling little, little more, it will be working on the liver. And if you are needling deeper, it will be working on the heart. So as your needle going more deeper and more deeper and more deeper, First, it will be working very near, near kidneys, very near. Then it will be working on the liver, liver is literally far. Then it is working on the heart, heart is very, very far away. So the same area, but we can treat the kidney, it means we can treat the two condition. Number one, pain of the bone. So we can treat the lower back pain. And number two, we can treat the liver. So all the condition of the liver, like fatty liver, cirrhosis of the liver, and there are many other condition of the liver. Number three, it's working on the heart. So these points are one of the great points for all the heart disorders, right? Upper three yellowish. So suppose you're needling half chun, it will be working on the kidney. Now your needle is going half chun more like you're needling one chun. It will be working on the liver and you're going little more deeper, one and a half chun, it is working on the heart. Even in the panchakarma treatment, we are doing massage in this area. So we are taking the oil and massaging this area. I have seen the patient is suffering with the back pain. One patient is suffering with the right side back pain. If you massage this area on the same side, it will not be much painful. But if you massage the area on the other side, on the thigh, it will be very much painful, very much painful. So if we massage this area, just massaging this area, and person will be feeling very, very good effect in the lower back pain. Or we can just praise this point. We can make the three parts, part number one, part number two, and part number three. So we can just keep our one palm and the other palm up, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we are moving on the next step. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we are going to the third number part. Six times, six times, six times. In this way, mm -hmm. we can stimulate the point in the various way. Or we can put the other leg like this, right? We can put the other leg like this. Okay. So we know when we are sitting in the Padmasana. In the Padmasana, definitely leg is going up. But we can put here and we can sit in the Padmasana. And there is automatic pressure is coming here. So suppose we want to press this. So first we are keeping the leg here and other leg on the other side. They are giving wonderful pressure. So that's why sitting in the Padmasana is one of the great posture for liver. And there are many other problems which is having connection with the liver. And we will be discussing them shortly. So this is the upper three yellows, right? Upper three yellows is treating the back pain. Now, one more condition of the spine which I will discuss right now. We know there is a one condition that is called spur in the spine. Spur. 
So sometimes there is cervical spur, sometimes there is lumbar spur. What is spur? The spur means sprout. Like we know, we are taking the some seeds, putting them with the water. Then after one or two days, we can see the sprouting. In the same way, sometimes two bones are doing the friction with each other and there is a sprout-like projection is coming out, sprout. Sprite, sprout-like projection is coming out. These are called spur. Then what is happening? This sprout is doing the unwanted pressure on the nerve and creating the pain. This might be in the neck and this might be in the back. If the person is suffering with the spondylosis, spondylosis means like the cervical spondylosis or the lumbar spondylosis, so in this spondylosis, definitely there is a formation of the spur. And we know there is a one another condition that is called calcaneal spur. Calcaneal spur is very common in the bone of the heel. We know that is calcaneum bone. So in the heel, there is a bone. See, this is the bone. This is called calcaneum bone. Now there is a spur-like projection is coming out. Then it's giving unwanted pain here. So when the person is suffering with a spur anywhere, mm -hmm. spur is having connection with the bone. So with the help of this point, upper three yellows, we can treat lower back pain of the opposite side, cervical spur, lumbar spur, as well as the calcaneal spur. So these are the very good point. It's not mandatory that you should use all the three points. You can choose two points, right? Just a two point also, you can choose them. Or you can choose all the three points. Or you can put the four point. One extra point can be inserted here, right? Because this area is the very good area for liver. Now, few more thing, few more indication about this because we just discussed about the kidney. But what about the liver? So because as we are needling, first needle is going little bit. So treating the kidney. So we discuss about the back pain, which is having connection with the kidney. We discuss about the spur, which is the very common spondylosis. Now let's talk about the liver. If needle is going little deeper, then working on the liver and deepest, then working on the heart. So let's see. When the person is having liver disease, jaundice, yellow eyes, Hepatitis, cirrhosis of liver, in these all condition, we treat upper three yellows, the same point. Same point. And all the liver point, whether 11.20 or the wood inflammation or the 88.121314, we use these all point in the left side for creating the better effect, right? So all the liver disease, we can use these point plus 11.20 together. Now there is a very common condition of the ear. In the ear, we have three parts. Ear can be divided in three parts. External ear, middle ear or internal ear, right? Internal ear is the very sensitive part of the ear. In the internal ear, we are having one fluid, right? One fluid. This fluid is responsible for balance as well as the hearing. Sometimes this fluid is getting disturbed. Then the person is losing the balance. Even there is a problem in the hearing. Person is getting vertigo, dizziness. These all conditions having connection with the ear. So this is condition is called Meniere's disease where person is a digi and there is a vertigo and the hearing loss. So we will use these points. One lady suddenly got projectile vomiting. One day she eaten the food in the hotel. It was very spicy food. And after eating the food, maybe because of the spices used by the hotel, she start getting projectile vomiting, multi-vomiting. There are too much pressure in the ear. 
the imbalance in the internal ear then you start getting vertigo dizziness and even she was not able to walk then got hospitalized then it was very difficult to even sit because she was having severe dizziness then doctor checked and declared she is having severe inflammation in the internal ear she was also having problem in the middle ear because of the projectile vomit so i put three needle i went to the hospital and uh, silently i put three needle on the upper three lobes and i pressed small intestine because we know the small intestine is having connection with the ear the small intestine meridian is uh, ending in front of the ear so i pressed 1. si6 and she start she was not hearing anything before that but as soon as i did this she start hearing and she was telling to husband let's go to the home i will just take acupuncture treatment i am happy with the treatment because since morning i am here i didn't get any improvement but i did three needling on the upper three lobes and i pressed si6 she start getting little hearing back okay so in this way upper three lobes are not only good for hearing upper three lobes are very good if person is having any imbalance in the internal ear okay there is a meniere's disease vertigo dizziness so with the help of this we can treat the person only 3 point unit 88.12 13 and 14 okay it's a great point unit why these points working on the ear number 1 ear is having connection with the kidney and number 2 ear is also having connection with the liver right and upper three yellows working on the kidney as well as the liver so they are working on the ear now i am coming to the next condition the high wbc count before proceeding this i will tell you we know kidney is making the bone right and even the kidney essence is making the bone marrow bone marrow so suppose this is the bone and inside the bone we are having bone marrow bone marrow is the factory of wbc rbc and platelet so suppose there is a disturb production of the wbc there is a high wbc count the normal wbc count is 4000 to 11000 but sometime because of some problem some infection some inflammation the wbc count is reaching to the 50000 or the 1 lakh or more than 1 lakh that is called blood cancer the meaning of blood cancer when there is uncontrolled wbc count raising in the blood then what we have to do we have to do something for arresting the functioning of the bone marrow and bone marrow is produced by the kidney and the kidney essence so what we do we will use the upper three yellows why the upper three yellows only because when we talk about the uncontrolled growth uncontrolled growth is also having connection uncontrolled growth uncontrolled growth is having connection with the liver as well liver is the bind and responsible for uncontrolled growth so upper three yellows one of the great point if there is a high wbc count okay so i would like to bring the focus on few things at a time liver upper three yellow is good for liver upper three yellow is good for two condition this is connected with the brain i will discuss shortly upper three yellow is having connection with the meningitis it is having also having connection with the brain the meaning of leukemia or blood cancer where wbc count is very high or the person is suffering with the vision problem because vision problem is having connection with the liver or the person is suffering with the rp or the retinitis pigmentosa which is also the vision eye problem or the blurred vision in these all condition upper three yellows means 88.121314 are very good point if the problem is very aggressive then we will add 11.20 if the problem is not aggressive Okay, then we can leave this point, but upper three yellows will remain there. 
upper three yellows we can use for the chronic problem, for the acute problem, for more problem or for the less problem. So let's go ahead and see a few more things here. Now, the Parkinson is, is a very common disease. It's a happening with the many adults or in the old age. Parkinson is the disease having connection with the brain and there is a decreased secretion of the dopamine from the brain. So we can see the patient suffering with the Parkinson. They are having slow movement and they are having mask face. Their face is like a mask. And we know that there is a movement, tremors in the hands, right? And the Lord, many, many other problems. So when we want to treat the patient suffering with the Parkinson's, right? What do we do? We are using upper three yellow. Question comes, why the upper three yellows we are using for the problem of the brain? So the answer is this. As per the acupuncture, we know Ju in the meaning of Ju in means pericardium and liver. According to the Ju in concept, if you see the human body, there is a one meridian. In the upper part, we are telling it pericardium. The same meridian in the lower part, we are telling it liver. So the pericardium and liver is the same meridian, but we are telling with a different name at the different location. Both together are called Zuin. So whenever you are treating the liver, it's working on the pericardium. And whenever you are treating the pericardium, it's working on the liver. And what is pericardium? Pericardium is brain meridian. So whenever you want to work on the brain, you want to work on the heart, you can treat the liver meridian. Liver meridian, one of the great meridian for brain. For any problem of the brain, whether the brain, all the problem like mental retardation, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson, any problem of the brain can be treated by the liver. That's why 88.12, 13 and 14 are the very good point for Parkinson. As we stimulate these points, they increase the secretion of dopamine. As per the Marma Sask, there is a one Marma point found in the spleen meridian and secreting the dopamine hormone, this Marma point found here. This is the lower leg. In the lower leg, if I'm pressing here, this is the point secreting the dopamine hormone. This is found in the spleen meridian, right? Spleen meridian. So we know here we have spleen six, here we have spleen nine, and one point in the center, this point is secreting the dopamine hormone, right? So we are pressing this. So we do the movement, we keep the three finger here and we do the zigzag movement here. Or we can just keep press from the other side like this. Okay, so now if we put the three point of lower three emperor one, two and three, they're the wonderful point for Parkinson. But if we talk about the spleen nine, we don't have to put the point spleen nine, but we have to put the point 1.5 down from the spleen nine, that is called Shangguan. Yesterday I discussed with you that if from the spleen nine, if we are going 1.5 down, this is a very good point for kidney. This is called kidney gate and kidney is having connection. Kidney is having very deeper connection with the brain. Kidney is making the scalp here and kidney is also making the brain. If the kidney is weaker, many kids having poor kidney sense, they get mental retardation. If you want to nourish the kidney, brain, you need to nourish the kidney. If kidney is deficient, brain also will be deficient. So what we are doing with the upper three yellows, either we will put only one point here, kidney gate, or we can put the two point here. Or we can put all the three point here. Means lower three emperor. So with the help of this, mm -hmm. we'll ever to treat the Parkinson condition. It's an excellent protocol for Parkinsonism, right? 
the trigeminal neuralgia is little aggressive problem for the trigeminal neuralgia again i will discuss with you in place of this we will be moving to this part that will come in the future classes okay because each and every organ is having more aggressive then more and more aggressive then again more and more aggressive problem all the liver points are always better when we are choosing them in the left side so in the parkinson patient you can see upper three yellows 88.121314 and 77.18 these points unit are doing very great treatment right let's talk about the dry eyes it's a very common problem dry eyes the dry eyes become very challenging problem when there is no tear formation at all okay tell me if there is a no tear formation what will happen can you imagine suppose there is a no tear what will happen It, it even it will be difficult to blink the eyes you know even blinking the eyes will be giving trouble so doctor will give you one eye drop and you have to put in every four hour that is the treatment of the dry eyes but as per the acupuncture we can treat by two points number one upper three yellows and number 2 a excellent point for the eyes that is called gallbladder 37 gb37 as per the master doing two two points other than upper three yellows two points are one of the great point for eyes number 1 gallbladder 37 and number 2 kidney 7 7 is there gallbladder 37 and the kidney 7 these two points one of the great point for eyes as per the master some patient is telling you can you treat my eyes i am feeling whatever the problem you just add two point gallbladder 37 kidney 7 immediately you will see the effect right so if we talk about the gallbladder 37 why the gallbladder 37 is good point anyone can tell me as per the tcm concept why the gallbladder 37 is good point because gallbladder 37 is the leo connecting point wonderful jasri ji excellent leo connecting the meaning of leo connecting point they can exchange the energy from the partner they can give the energy they can take the energy from the partner so gallbladder can give the energy to the liver can take the energy from the liver as per the need so gallbladder 37 is one of the great point for reason and this point found in the leg the location of this point is in the leg i will show you here gallbladder 37 the leo connecting point of gallbladder let's see here so if you look at here this point is located five chuna and we can see between the two bones there the inner bone that is called tibia bone and the outer bone is called fibula bone and in between if from the ankle joint you are going five chun up you will find the location of gallbladder 37 you can see here the gallbladder 37 is very good point for eyes so if you look at my leg so from here, from the ankle joint i can feel one bone here one bone on the side so i have to come in the center of this bone now from here if i go five chun up that is the location of gallbladder 37 here right this is it so gallbladder 37 and i told you one another point that is kidney 7 from the medial malleolus 
If I go down, this is the kidney three. Now from the kidney three, if I go two chun up, two chun means three finger. From the kidney three, if I am coming two chun up, that is the location of kidney seven. Kidney seven is also the very good point for eyes, for vision. Mm -hmm. Right. As per the master do, many per diabetic person having problem of vision. And they are having some, some blurred vision, some heavy vision. And even there is a too many complications because of the diabetes. With the regular kidney 7 stimulation, we can improve the vision. Kidney 7 is having direct connectivity with the eyes. And even I have tried, as soon as I put this point, patient got immediate oh, feeling good in the eyes. Because there is a one thing in the master tomb points. They will work immediately. If you put in the right way, they will work immediately, instantly. And always we have to put on the opposite side. Okay. So suppose some patient is suffering with the problem of any, anything, whatever the problem is. If this problem is having connection with the eyes, then we can use. So right now I'm discussing about the dry eyes. So 88.121314 and the gold 37. And gold 37 is called bright light point. Okay. Now, some, someone is having the problem of the blurred vision. We can use 88.121314 and the kidney 7. And definitely I am using kidney 7 and gold 37 together with the upper three yellows and achieving wonderful results. Okay. We can use all the three point together for blood vision, for many other problem which is having connection with the vision. So this was the quick discussion of the three point unit. So whether you want to treat the liver disease or these all disease the upper three yellows are the very good points. Here I would like to mention about one disease that is called multiple sclerosis. What is multiple sclerosis? This is a very challenging problem nowadays. Definitely patients are, we will find very lesser patient of multiple sclerosis. But this is a very, very challenging problem. So in the brain, we know we in the brain we are having neurons. How many neurons we have? We are having hundred billion neuron. Hundred billion neuron. So neuron is the last unit of the brain. So neuron are like this. One neuron, then the another neuron. Okay, there are many neurons in that way. So neuron is having one protecting layer. That is a protecting layer. That is called hyaline sheath. Hyaline sheath. So on the neuron, we are having this protective layer that is called hyaline sheath, like we have seen. Every neuron is having this layer. So when we are doing any action, so brain is ordering to do some action. Brain is telling you, okay, lift the glass of water. Then your neuron is passing the message. The message is coming to the hand. Then you're lifting the glass of water. Even if someone is pinching you, the neuron are passing the message or someone is pinching, then brain is feeling that. So everything passed through the neuron. So when anything passed through the neuron, it's a jump from one hyaline seed to another hyaline seed in that way. So always message is jumping and going. So message is going from hyaline seed to the hyaline seed. Okay, then reaching here, 
then from here it's reaching to the another neuron with the help of some chemical then again jumping again jumping that's it so what i want to tell you if the hyaline seed like this suppose in the river you want to cross the river right in between there are many stones so you will keep one leg on the stone then another leg to the another stone the another leg on the another stone right sorry this is a myelin seed not the hyaline seed sorry <laughs> myelin seed wo oh, hyaluronic acid ka hyaline seed ho gaya okay myelin seed sorry so you want to cross the river you are keeping the your leg on one stone then the second stone then the third stone in that the way you are crossing the river but suppose we remove some stones then it will be difficult to cross the river or not in the same way suppose there is a degeneration of the myelin seed then message is not going smoothly the same thing happening with the patient suffering with multiple sclerosis there is a degeneration of the myelin seed so message is not passing then whether they want to lift the leg want to lift the hand they feel difficulty right because of the degeneration of the myelin seed so upper three yellows as soon as you put the upper three yellows they are directly working on the brain and they are developing the myelin seed i have tried this point and sometime these b c very very wonderful results i tried this point for one patient who was not able to walk i put three needle here one two and three and three needle on the upper three yellows and i've seen after the 40 minute patient was walking okay but if we want to achieve the result really the good results we cannot believe in the magic we can believe in the science we have to work because many time patient is telling doctor i am suffering with the with the multiple sclerosis since 5 years now can you treat me in 2 days or 3 days it's not possible we have to work for many months so upper three yellows are very good for meningitis there is a problem of the meninges of the brain even the memory loss even the any disorder of the brain even the alzheimer disease anything which is having connection with the brain we can use upper three yellows any problem which is having connection with the eyes we can use upper three yellows so upper three yellows can be used for liver kidney as well as the heart right so in this way we have discussed about liver in the next class means tomorrow we will be discussing more about the liver because we have to discuss 11.17 that is also wonderful point of the liver so let's see you tomorrow on the same time thank you so much we are closing and kindly correct the hyaline seed with the myelin seed <laughs> there is nothing hyaline seed right yes um, ha ji monika ji ji good evening sir ji good evening sir ek problem thi aise na ye kaise memorize kiya jaye itni sari protocols itne sare points kahan pe kaun se hai kahan pe kaun sa hai बस इसलिए तो इतनी सारी कहानियां सुना रहे हैं आपको <laughs> नहीं सर तो फिर आप लोग जैसे आपने पिछले वाले कोर्स में कराया था ना मास्टर टू की कुछ वीडियोस मैंने देखी थी हाँ। उसमें आपने बताया ना कि हाथ पे इलेवन आता है और पैरों पे ट्वेल्व आता है लाइक दिस यू विल टीच अस और ओनली प्रोटोकॉल नहीं नहीं वो तरह टीचिंग करेंगे ना सब अच्छा ओके सब बताएंगे फिर तो याद हो जाएगा सर फिर तो ईजी हो जाएगा आपको याद कराना हमारे थैंक यू सर थैंक यू पिछली बार आपने हमें किसी ने बोला था थोड़ी था कि ऐसे बताओ वो तो मुझे लगा कि ऐसे बताना है वैसे बताया लोगों को क्योंकि जो आसान तरीका है वैसे ही हम बताएंगे थैंक यू सर जी हाँ जी जी सर जी Sir, you were telling about this walking uh, a person who can't walk can also walk, no, sir. Um, so, uh, I, I, when there is an imbalance in walking, uh, patients sometimes they have this uh, shivering of hands and then speak prob speaking problem, and uh, and also imbalance in walking. In such case, also can we use this yellow yellow three yellow points? 
No, but what is the what is the cause? It is again it's related to the brain only, no sir. They say it is that related is, to brain yeah, only. Definitely, if because upper three yellows are very good for brain. They will they will help to develop the myelin sheath, right? Okay. So any problem? Suppose someone is having some different condition, might be we might use some other point. Mm -hmm. But upper three yellows are one of the great. There is a. But as you said, I have put in these two points, sir. I can see change in his walking, and the shivering is also short. A stop as per neuroclast neuroscopic puncture. Which point? You were. Cranial nerve, cranial nerve eight. I have used, sir, and yeah. then. And I have used that, and I have used all the wind points also because his hands were shivering, and then his speak was not good. So F point and D point also we used it, and then along with that, um, I have used some more points from the Sujok also, sir. Now what difference? Within three days, he was suffering for past twelve days, sir. Within three days, his shivering has stopped. His mouth, his talk, talk has like you know it's better. Ninety five percent it has come back, and even the way he walks also is little bit difference I could find. And he is now using the coffee. He is like you know, uh, he is using the coffee tumblers to use it and drink by himself. And also, he was not having a strength in his right hand. Now both the hand has got equal strength. Okay, that's great, wonderful. So this point I use for a balance. You can add. You can add this point. Right. Thank you. Yeah, these points can be added with some other protocol, but make sure don't use too much, too many points. I suppose if you are already using too many points. Then don't use all the three points. Just insert one needle in the upper three. Years. Enough, right? Sir, one day I can use this uh, master thumb. One day I can use other way. Uh, yeah, yes. you can do. Okay. You can do that. Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Right. Yes, Juhi ji. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Hello. sir. Yes. Sir, मेरे पापा सर 2017 में ना मेरे पापा की open heart surgery हुई थी. हाँ जी और पिछले कुछ सालों से उन्हें कैटरैक्ट भी है जी तो जो अभी आपने मैंने डॉक्टर वॉल्स वाली क्लास भी अटेंड की थी तो वो मैं पॉइंट्स पापा को दे रही हूँ लेकिन क्योंकि काफी टाइम से पांच छह सालों से तो शायद उन्हें इतना रिलीफ नहीं मिल रहा है तो अभी सैटरडे को पापा एक हॉस्पिटल गए थे तो वहां पे जैसे टेस्ट वगैरह हुए तो एम आर ई में जो काफी प्रॉब्लम आई है उसमें आ, Myocardial infarction or our UQ wave not very weak. Okay, okay. So and I will tell you one thing. Only three point. Will, only three point will heal this problem. Only three point. Tell me, sir, please. Call eighty-eight point zero one two three. Just wait for a few days. Or please. if you are in the final group, and suppose you are not in the final group, then just add eighty-eight point zero one two three only for seven days and see the. Effect only three. Oh, one to yeah. three. Eighty-eight point one to three. That's it. Excellent point for heart. My and the myocardial problems, right? Okay, sir. I will be discussing Thank because see, uh, from because tomorrow is the last free class. Then I will be. Discussing. No, sir. I'm I'm in the group too. And then you will get all the idea. Don't worry for. Okay, sir. Answer what for? What for cataract? Doctor Bolz's wale point. I continue. Karu me? Yeah, you can continue, Doctor Bolz's point. Even in the master term, we will be discussing each and everything as per the master term style. But you can continue that. If for cataract, the kid we have some specific point. But you can continue, uh, Doctor Bolz's point because that is also giving good results. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you okay. so much. Yes, Rainy Ji. Hello, sir. Hello. Ah, uh, sir, जैसे आपने बोला ये upper three yellow points the kidney और liver के लिए अच्छे होते हैं and heart too. Sir, मेरा actually खुद का problem अभी आया और मेरा fatty liver है साथ में kidney cyst निकला और liver cyst है. So I can use these points for that also. Yes, sir. आपके लिए बहुत ही अच्छे points हैं क्योंकि एक तीर से तीन निशाने हैं, है ना? आपको लेफ्ट साइड में काफी दर्द होगा है ना ठीक है
और जैसे मैंने कहा कि अगर आपको लिवर के लिए यूज करना है तो हम लेफ्ट में यूज करते हैं लेकिन मान लो हमें लिवर के लिए नहीं किडनी के लिए यूज करना है हार्ट के लिए यूज करना है तो हम दोनों थाई में यूज कर सकते हैं मतलब कोई भी एक बार में एक ही चूज करेंगे लेकिन लिवर के लिए करना हो तो ओनली लेफ्ट लेफ्ट ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू जी वेलकम जी रितिका जी नमस्ते सर नमस्ते आपका सेशन बहुत अच्छा है और बहुत क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट रखता है आपका प्रोटोकॉल भी बहुत अच्छे से रहता है ये मैंने अभी 11.20 किया है ठीक है सर जी जी और सर अभी आपने जो जीबी थर्टी सेवन और किडनी सेवन का पॉइंट लोकेट किया ना हाँ। सर एक बार फिर से बता दीजिए ना जी हाँ जरूर जी थैंक यू सर जी सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट किडनी सेवन एंड गोलबर थर्टी सेवन दीज टू पॉइंट वन ऑफ द ग्रेट पॉइंट फॉर सर सर आपने दिखाई नहीं दे रहे हैं So we can put the kidney seven from here. This is the kidney seven. See, okay. can you see the kidney seven? Yes, sir. Yes. So this is the location of kidney seven, or we can just do the massage here. But I, I have seen if you you can put the magnet here, the star magnet here, and regarding the gallbladder thirty seven, I will show you the gallbladder thirty seven here. So this is the lateral malleolus. Yes, so first we have to feel the bone. This is the bone, and this is another bone. There are two bones here. In these two bone, we can feel the depression in between. So in this depression, we are having gallbladder meridian. This gallbladder meridian found in between these two bone, but in the depression in the middle, and gallbladder meridian. Just above this border of bone. So from here we have to go five chun up. So three chun, then two chun. So this is the location of gallbladder thirty seven. This is the location. Look at here. Can you see this? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So two points were very good for eyes. Got it. Thank you, sir. Thank you much. Clear, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Fine. So now we have to conclude the yeah. Samul ji, yes, please. Mr. Samul, yeah. Hello, sir. Um, Hello. Uh, the uh, kidney seven and GB thirty seven are also uh, part of a TCM. So now we are talking about uh, Master Tong. So are we needling the same side or the opposite side? Yeah, so we will be needling opposite side, opposite side. Because see, the kidney seven is the part of TCM, but Master Tung has given a different name. <coughs> we will be discussing later on seventy seven point something. Because I have tried, <clears throat> I have tried to like if the patient is telling you, I am having the problem of the right eye. So if we are using the Master Tung concept, even the Goldberg thirty seven and the kidney seven be used on the opposite side. Right. Opposite okay. Side. Thank you. Even I have I have tried this point. The kidney seven is one of very good point. One patient was having some problem in the right eye. I tried the kidney seven on the left side, and patient got immediate relief. Okay, so we have to work on the other side. Got it? Okay. Yes, Om Bhati Ji. Om Bhati Yadav Ji. गुड इवनिंग सर आपका एक डिवाइस बंद करिए एक डिवाइस चालू रखिए आउट ऑफ टू एक डिवाइस बंद करिए जब दो डिवाइस होती है तो ऐसी आवाज आती है हाँ जी बोलिए ओमबती जी यस सर जी बताइए सर जैसे हम लोअर थ्री एम्पर हाँ जी एक साइड लगाते हैं लेफ्ट साइड में लगाएंगे हाँ 
तो के सेवन और जी बी सेवन दूसरी साइड राइट साइड लगाएंगे या सेम साइड लगाएंगे ये अगर डिपेंड करता है कि कहा प्रॉब्लम है अगर किसी ने बोला कि उसे राइट आई में प्रॉब्लम है आप राइट साइड की प्रॉब्लम को ठीक कर रहे हैं राइट यस तो लेफ्ट में लग जाएंगे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं लेकिन oh. आपको किस तरफ की प्रॉब्लम ठीक करना है इफ यू वांट टू ट्रीट द प्रॉब्लम यू गो टू द अपोजिट साइड राइट ओके सो इन दिस वे लाइक लाइक वी आर यूजिंग लोअर 3 एंपियर वी आर यूजिंग किडनी 7 वी आर यूजिंग गॉलबर 37 एंड यू फ्यू मोर पॉइंट दैट्स इनफ डन ओवर then don't try to put too much points too many points because if you are using too many points then needle will cancel the effect of each other the points will be too many but effect will be lesser so then you can reduce some points if you are adding more point then cut down some points from somewhere else right okay okay right sir yeah thank you yes surinder ji oh sir good evening मेरा क्वेश्चन कल से रिलेटेड एक सेशन से है स्लीम का जिसमें मेरी आवाज आप तक नहीं आ रही थी हाँ जी तो आईबीएस के बारे में वो स्लीम डेफलेस है इसको इसके वो एसपीसी सेक्शन में बताया आपने पॉइंट्स आईबीएस के लिए आईबीएस के लिए क्या बोल रहे हैं आप आईबीएस में आईबीएस के लिए कल आप वो टॉपिक जाया गया था हाँ हाँ तो मैं अज्यूम कर जिसके कारण जो है क्रिएट होती है आईबीएस एक्चुअली मुझे आपका प्रश्न समझ में नहीं आ रहा मुझे बस आईबीएस समझ में आ रहा है कि आप आईबीएस बोल रहे हैं आई विल टेल यू आपने आईबीएस का हमने डिस्कशन मास्टर टूम में किया था कि टीसीएम में किया था नहीं नहीं कल स्क्रीन के पॉइंट बताए थे आपने हां तो उसमें डैम्पनेस बताई थी आपने स्टील डैम्पनेस तो मैंने अज्यूम किया कि उसमें आईबीएस की लेकिन है अगर हम आईबीएस की बात करें व्हाट इज आईबीएस IBS means irritable bowel syndrome so IBS means as per the TCM there is a humid heat in the intestine humid heat in the large intestine humid heat in the colon right so when there is a IBS condition irritable bowel syndrome condition sometimes we make the different protocol but we treat the humid heat in the intestine and remember one thing spleen is the king of whole digestive tract if the person is having problem in the large intestine or the small intestine we have to treat the spleen always right so spleen we will treat the spleen and uh, definitely we will be treating we will adding few more point of the ibs so we'll reduce the humidity and we'll reduce the dampness then we'll work accordingly we already have discussed ibs earlier in the master tung uh, there are a uh, different point of the ibs these points are believe in the stomach meridian that will be discussed in the future classes right ibs is in the very detail in our course okay sir thank you yeah okay so let's close the session because now we have to close the session another uh, uh, if you have any query we will we can discuss tomorrow so thank you so much now we'll meet again tomorrow closing the session now